Hello, good morning everyone and welcome back to Catagraphics Tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to uh, basically publish on Behance. Okay, some of you have issues with that. Some people find it very confusing or very difficult, but this is very simple and straightforward if you follow these simple steps. So this is the best platform I showcased to my clients even before Instagram. This is very, very organized. The interface, I'll show you that in a couple of minutes. So let's get uh, to know some of the features you're going to uh, experience while inside Behance. This is an Apple device I'm using. For Android, I think their menu could be totally different, but you see the same icon beneath, okay? So the home is where you see all projects from all around uh, uh, service providers, web design, uh, graphic designers, um, ads, etc, brand designers, and so on and so forth. So you want to check up on one, just click on it, it opens, then you can scroll and check out the projects, okay? You can scroll and check out the projects, you can like the projects from here and uh, do other things like adding to your dash uh, dashboard or share to your friends or checking out their profile information information for the person who actually posted this you can also follow at the top when you click you follow at the top you see the top here you see follow button at the top right so that is it for the home everything you need to know there the search you can search for uh images or stuffs uh a kind of keywords uh, to get right into uh, what you are looking at so probably we are looking for logo inspiration So when you search for that, you're going to see tons of designs that will inspire you, okay? Tons of designs that will inspire you. You just uh, can just browse around them to just get a little bit idea to add, add up to what you already have, okay? So that is it for the search. Nothing much there. Just search and uh, and if you want to go, when you search, you want to see the owner of that particular project and other works they have done, just click on their image at the top left and it will open their project. You can follow them and so on. So that is it for the search. We get right next to the video. This is just like their YouTube. You can watch tutorials from different uh, uh, professionals in different fields and uh, service providing uh, categories. So now the next is your notification. Uh, Panel. The different panel is where you see stuffs like uh, uh, people who followed you, people who commented, and people who added your product, your your services to their dashboard. Okay. For instance, this person added my service to her dashboard five days ago. So when you click on that to check, open it up. You see my service in her dashboard. And if I want to add her service to my dashboard, I click on the one I want. For instance, this one. I can follow her or click option at the bottom left. Then I add it to my dashboard okay when you add a service to your dashboard it bring out the categories you have already created i created inspiration i created product product brand design i created logo but this one that have a kind of wine i call it uh, uh uh drinks i can create a new dashboard i call it drink drinks and i click done you could also always do that with a capital letter so now i click drink make sure you select on it this ticks good and you click on save and that saves this particular one to that dashboard drink so that is how to add uh stuff to your motherboard i mean not dashboard motherboard so now this is your profile okay it's your portfolio as to say and this is when you send a link to a client this is what shows up to them they see stuff like this so let me show you how this is totally different from instagram and how advanced this looks first we are gonna i'm gonna teach you how to publish on this behance very simple way to do it on mobile and also how to update your publish a feature instagram don't have okay so now let's check out one of our projects so let's check out um essential care so you see how it is very easy laid out very simple each project is laid out with the description at the bottom. So users have the leverage to see all through, not like Instagram that is sli sliding uh, horizontally. This is vertical slide. And I think vertical slide is the best because your device is vertical, not horizontal. You see the interface and see everything right in front of you. So that's the same way with every other project. Uh, you see, if you want to like this project, just click on the like button. Automatically, it adds to the like of this project okay so that is that is it that is 
most thing you need to know. Second thing you need to know is about this, uh, uh, um, will I call this, uh, uh, links to other panels inside of your dashboard. Okay. These are links to other features inside of your dashboard. So these are the works. That's why we are seeing all our works. If you go to about, you're going to see everyone who liked your dashboard, everyone who viewed your project and so on and so forth. Click on it. It's going to open up the, this is the dashboard actually. Okay. This is not the motherboard. About is the dashboard. And bye bye my boy. So about is the, um, dashboard. Now motherboard is where everything you save. See the last one we saved in drink. It is there now. Okay. And this is my other motherboard I created. You can't just create motherboard from inside motherboard. Okay. You can only create motherboard when you want to add a new motherboard. Okay. So appreciations is people, uh, stuffs you like and your stuff people like. You understand? Stuffs you like, everything you like, even your own project that you like, you will see them here. So next thing I want to let you know, okay, let me get back to the works. Next thing I want to let you know is the op option at the top, the three dot at the top right. Here you can edit your profile uh, by, uh, it did very simple, very, very simple interface. You see how simple it is, more simpler than Instagram or Facebook. You can also edit the banner. You see the banner, my wallpaper at the background there, you can replace it and add something else if you wish uh, and so on. So this is the count of stuffs you have and your name. You just set that up when creating the account. So to create an account with, uh, with uh, Behance, just download the application. This is what it looks like. Behance, download the application, then just create your account. It's very simple and you can go through setting up your profile and everything. It will just come out just like this. Your first project, I'm going to show you how to create your first project. So for this, we are going to create a project for um, the latest design we did for a bar youth arise. So let's create a project for that and I'll show you how to present uh, your projects. So first, we are going to start adding our projects to this, uh, this mood board. So first we are going to add, um, I like, I like this. Okay. It's added. I like, um, I like, um, this is added. I like the illustration is added. I like the cap is added. I like this is added. I like this is added. And finally you can go to your album and, uh, favorite you can add your image or your, your portfolio, uh, sampling. So now if you see on the first one, we have a white border at the right and a white border at the, at the left. But in the green one, we don't have a white border at the right and a white border on the left. Why? Because this green one is a full width. It's more than 2000 pixels width and 2000 pixel height. So whenever you're making a design in Photoshop, make sure it is 2000 pixel width. They don't support anything less than 2000 pixel. If it's, if it's less than that, you will see a white border here to show you that this resolution is less than 2000 pixels. So whenever creating, I taught you that in my last tutorial on Insta, Insta, uh, Instagram, how to publish on Instagram, I taught you that on the last tutorial. So go check it out. So this is not a full width image. This is a full width and this is, a, this is not a full width. You see the white border is still there. This is a full width. This is not a full width. The white border is still there. This is a full width. This also is a, it's not a full width. Okay. So it's not up to 2000 pixels. I'll teach you guys about pixel. Someone should remember, remind me about that. Okay. So now we are done with that. Let's get next. After you added your pictures, now you will get into adding, uh, some other things. I'll talk about these other options at the bottom of this, uh, image I posted last. I'll talk about them later. So let's go to next. Now the project cover is the image you want to show as that other ones that show in my uh, portfolio. The first image that show before you click and it gets into the, that particular all of the project. So we can, you usually edit it if you want to. So let me take for instance, I want to remove this image and I don't want it to be the first image in the project. I want to choose any image. This is what makes it totally different from Instagram. Okay. One of the things that make it totally different from Instagram, you can choose other projects, other icons to, you know, replace it with it. And, uh, uh that is it. Very simple. Very simple. So I like this, this particular one. I center it to my liking Then I save it's automatically it's, it becomes the project, uh, uh, cover page. Okay. So next you put your title. Our title here is a uh, bar youth arise. I don't even know how to spell youths again. So next you put our tags. Our tags, you just put a separation with comma. I can say a bar, then put comma. You say youths, 
put a comma, you say arise. Here is just tax. People can trick, trust this, you can say solidarity. Put comma, you can just keep typing, typing okay? The next is uh, creative field. Creative field is you add what is this design you're making? What is it related to? So it's related to graphic design. You can only add three or four, I think. It's related to, um, is it related to branding? Yes, it's related to branding and it's related to illustration. Okay, I added three now. So design, illustration, and branding. So the next, we go to advanced settings. Very simple. I'm just taking my time because uh, I'm just taking my time. If you just do it, it's very simple. I'm just taking my time to do it because I'm teaching you guys. Okay, project description is where you add your description. So I made a little description here. So I'm just going to copy it and um, paste there. I usually make my description before making posts. So it will be very easy for me to do. So I copy my description and I go back here and I paste it. So we have our description here, Bayut Arise and the project name. I'll show you everything and where everything lands. Okay, we save this description. And next thing you can do is they add the tool you used. So we used uh, Behance Mobile. We used Photoshop for the mockups. Adobe Photoshop. We used Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator, I think. My battery is low. So we can save now. So these are the three tools we use. And if anybody search for these three stuffs, they are going to see our works. Okay. Including with the hashtags we did. So that's everything you need to do. There are no other thing. Just add your description and the tools you use. Forget about the rest. You don't even need to click save unless they are saved on Instagram. You can now go back. Now we are done. Okay. Just click on publish and that is it. Don't even try to preview. Just click on publish. Unless you just want to preview to see what your work looks like. So now we publish it. I'll show you in the back end how it looks. So I don't know why it's taking time. Okay, it's done. Okay, you can view project, but I don't advise that. Just click close. Now we can go here and refresh our page to see our latest publish. You see it, about Arise and the project cover is here. So this is the project cover we used, not actually the first image. When you open it, you will know. So look at the first image we have here, but the project cover is the second one because it is the one we selected. That's number one thing to know, and it's very easy. See our description beneath here is very simple. You can also edit. Since the above it arise is in the description here, we can remove this one in this description. To edit what you did, you click on option, click on edit, and here in edit, you you can always you can always do this. You can always can always rearrange these images okay to but to rearrange images click on one image click on this arrow up and arrow down button so by so doing you can rearrange i can say okay i don't want this hat to be here or i don't want this particular one to be here i want this one to be the second one i'm talking about the description then i save okay then i click next my description i can go to advance and now edit my description to remove that about arise so that my description will be very simple back and i publish again so you're going to find out that the first one is going to be the one with the hoodie and the second one is now uh the one uh i illustrated or described the design so we are done we can view our project now so you see it description beneath and so on and so forth so that is everything i can now like my post and i should be the first one who likes my post and i usually do that so now we are done with that now let's 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 get back to see something else we can do with this okay now for instance i made a post previously on zoria foods and i want to update this i have new brands i made recently for them and i think i i, I want to add it to my mood board like this too so to add these things is very simple click on this zoria just like we did on the edit click on option then click on edit so now we are editing all you need to do is just to add the images you want beneath it okay we add this image and we add this image don't bother that it is coming after our final image because this is usually my final image what you're going to do here is simple click on one of it and still click on rearrange Okay, we are going to move this up to where we want it to be. We're going to move this also to where we want it to be. And what else do we want to do? Okay, I think that's all for now. Then save. Next, we don't want to do any description modification. Okay, 
Zoria. Okay, let's just publish. Let's not waste much time. I wanted to make that capital letter because all titles make sure they are on, in capital letters. Okay, that will make a little more sense than uh, using uh, low class uh, uh, letters. So let's close and go back to our projects. And now we will refresh it again. Go back to our Zoria Foods. So now Zoria Foods, we have this. We have our projects updated automatically. Okay, this is very good to do. And this is a feature Instagram don't have and this is how they beat Instagram again. So if you see the interface, everything about this to add projects, just click on the top bottom and um, start adding projects. Now, let me talk about something else I didn't talk about. So let's try to edit this again. You can, okay, let me see, talk about this. You can see the project information. You can share this particular project. You can add it to your mood board, particular mood board you want. You can edit it. You can clone it last, like duplicating it. You can unpublish it. Unpublishing it doesn't delete it from your profile, but it it's, it's a kind of move it to the archive where people can see it, only you, whenever you want to publish it again, you can go back and publish it, but deleting it removes it finally totally from your profile. So now we click on option and I want, what I want to do now is to, um, edit. And I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Now, if you want to add an, a video to this, probably an, um, an, a, an, a YouTube video to this simple, what you have to do. Let me check my battery. Okay. Let me plug my phone now. So once add a video, you don't just add an, a, a video from your distant, uh, from your gallery. You could do that too, but you know, it just won't show the video the way you want it to be. But from YouTube, it makes a lot of sense. So that's where embedding codes comes in. I'll teach you guys embedding in the future, embedding media contents. I'll teach you guys that. And that is how I did most of the video options. So now here also, you can also add some text in, in between images okay you can add text in between images and move them to particular page maybe move this text here to describe this one move this text under to me describe this one and so on and so forth that's what you can do with that particular tool i'm talking about this tool to add text okay you can add text between images and so on you can also add image and uh so on and so forth so that is everything you need to know about behance it's very cool it's very simple to use this card very simple to use and it makes your work look very neat, okay? So now to share your portfolio or profile to a client, click on option, click on share, then click on copy to copy the profile. Now you can go and share with whoever you want to share with. So I want to share with the group, click and paste it and I send it. Automatically it appears. And when you click on it, it takes you to my dashboard inside of your application if you have the application but if you don't have the application automatically it's going to send you to the web so that is it that is everything you need to know about behance is very simple and very easy easy to use you see everything that is going on here and uh, i don't know if i have another example of that embedded okay this is another example of embedded youtube video you see it comes with the title of the video and my name you can also share this and watch this is the feature of that embedding because if you put only the gallery video is not going to embed it like so okay it's not going to embed it like so so this under project i have here and this is how I add it up to make it look a little more interactive or interesting. So this is that extra text I added. I told you guys can add extra text in between stuff. It can also add links. So if somebody click, it goes to your website or stuff like that. And uh, that is just it. That's just it. That's just everything you need. You can add text above. Let text be the stuff above. And you can make text capta, uh, bolder than the others, a particular section of the text. I'll teach you guys that when I teach you guys embedding. So this is actually my YouTube channel. So people can actually visit my YouTube channel by, by clicking my image. So that's what makes it totally different from Instagram. Okay. This makes it totally different from Instagram. And that's why I talked about using the embedding code. It makes it look more interactive and more interesting to relate to you. So that is it. And that's everything you need to know guys about, uh, Behance. And I want to see your Behance account on or before this Friday, this Friday, okay? I want to see all links to Behance, at least with two projects you publish there. You see how I present my project? It's very simple. At least let it be up to five or six 
project mockups okay let it be up to five or six project mockups so you give people stuff to to view not just an empty portfolio so you give people cho choice choices to view and see what's going on there so that's it guys and that's uh that is it what with what i'm wrapping it up with uh that so someone appreciated my work and that is the last one i just published someone just appreciated or someone liked it so that is it about uh, uh behance i spend more time in behance than instagram okay it's a very interesting place to be you like it it makes you only place your interesting works here okay and it's very interactive very easy to use thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest